All right, welcome to part two. Uh, the first video was shopping for an Evo 8. This is gonna be shopping for an Evo 9. This is a new segment I'm doing for the first time, just trying it out. If you guys like this, if you find it helpful, I'm more than willing to do it for the Evo 10s. I'm willing to do this every month, even you know as things change. I think if you do it any sooner than that, there's not a whole lot shifting in this market. Um, with that being said, any questions or comments below, let me know. And um, if you haven't watched the Evo 8 video, you can watch that as well. There were more for sale than Evo 9s, but um, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, now for the Evo 9s for sale, there are 10. So let's get through them here. We're going to resort this from price lowest. Okay, no picture. We're going to skip those as usual. So this first one here is silver or gray. I'm not really sure. Um, you can already see the valve cover. It's got different wheels, maybe inky wheels. I'm not sure. Um, it's got some something down there, some sort of bodywork. I can't really tell in the photo. The wheels are sticking out. I don't know if that's because of spacers or not. I'd definitely be concerned about that and or if it's rubbing. I, I can't tell. This might be gray. I think it is gray. Uh, tail lights. Those don't look right. The wing is completely gone, including the holes. It does have vortex generators that are color matched. It's got some sort of lip spoiler. The Brembo's and the valve cover have all been painted to match. If that's your thing, I guess. I'm not even sure if that's the original bumper. It's so weird. And it's got the Evo 9 seats still. That's good. Uh, looks like the carbon's still there on the dash. The steering wheel. Man, this thing is rough. Uh, it's got red there. That's terrible looking. So why would you go all blue and then put this in here? That is not original. That is something they added. It's got a boost gauge. 118,000 miles for $19,000. I mean, the price is reasonable just with those two facts. But I'm not sure what else. Is this an SE? It's got the SE seats. Well, I take that back. The back seats are SE seats. Nope, maybe the front ones are too. They might be. So this might be a special edition. Well, the floor mats don't say it is. And the badging didn't say a lot. I mean, obviously that's easy to take off, but a lot of times they'll leave that on. Uh, and there's absolutely no description. Okay, so this might be an SE. Can't quite tell. Let me see if I can see the roof a little bit better. Maybe in this picture. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know what this is. This is some sort of mashup. Um, unless you live really close to this, I'd probably just ignore this car. All right, so now we have another one. It says it's an MR, 19,740 with 141,000 miles. It's only got this one picture. It's a good picture. Um, seems to have stock front mount, some sort of weird lip. The vent cover is missing. Those look like the... Evo 9 MR wheels. The picture is a little hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, the wing is missing. No information. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for an MR, I, I think it's at least worth looking. The miles are high. Be mindful of that. So, I mean, you're going to want the compression test, and you're going to want somebody who knows what they're dealing with. They'll really look this car over, but it might be worth something to look at. 
All right. Uh, we have a black GSR, faded Brembos. Uh, it's is this this might be an SE. Looks like the SE wheels. So that's another thing. If that first one was an SE, then the, the SE wheels are gone, and that really matters. All right, so it's got MR tail lights. It's got an aftermarket exhaust. Looks mostly stock. There's some weird upper intercooler piping. There's an, a filter. Um, I don't think it's an SE. And what other pictures? Okay. It says bone stock, other than the Busher exhaust. And the intake, yeah, I would definitely look further into this. I mean, I'm a fan of Busher anyways, so if, you know, my thing is if it's going to be modded, I want it to be mods that I want, and I'm always happy with Busher mods. It is missing the little holes above the uh, air inlets. That's fairly common, unfortunately. Those tend to fall off, but just mindful of that. Um, I'm not a big fan of black, but... The miles and the price and virtually no mods and the mods that they have are good. Yeah, I mean, if I'm looking for an Evo 9, I'll look more at this for sure. All right. And we have a gray. Uh, it says it's an MR, 106,000 miles, really 107,000 miles, just shy of $21,000 asking price. It's got some aftermarket wheels. The front lip seems to be completely missing, or part of the front bumper, I should say. It might be a different front bumper. I can't tell. The vent's missing. The Mitsubishi badge is missing. That may be what's throwing me off. It definitely seems to be an MR. Tail lights have been tinted. Some sort of exhaust. Not a fan of tinted taillights. I think it's dangerous, but that's your decision. It's got some A-pillar gauges. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just missing the Mitsubishi badge that was throwing me off. ETS front mount. Those are Evo 9 GSR wheels is what those are. So, yep, the BBS wheels are missing. So that's going to obviously affect the value. Uh, it's got some cams and this stupid exhaust. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with this car at this point, and the filter's bent, and uh, that's a weird-looking battery, and it's got a blow-off valve there. It's got. Uh, this looks like somebody who spent a decent amount of money on mods and virtually no money on labor. Well, maybe they did. Uh, you can't really make it out. It says it was... I can't tell if... English Racing did the work. I do. That does look like labor. So now I just wonder if it just looks crappy because a the pictures are just not that good, and b maybe it was done a while ago. Let's see if we can zoom in. Can't really tell if that's 2017 or 2011. If it's 2011, it makes way more sense. Um. Yeah, I mean, because I, I haven't read much on them in several years, but English Racing was always a good shop, always got favorable reviews. Um, this is a Shep transmission. This is brand new built head from English Racing. But that receipt said 2017 or 2011. I'm not sure which. Neither one of those would be new. Uh, this is a possibly good car. I mean, it's for sale in Washington, which I'm pretty sure is the state that English racing is in. I know they're in the, the Northwest. So honestly, if you're interested in the car, I would contact them and talk to them about it. See if they remember it. See if you can take it to them, have them check it out again, because it could be a good deal. I mean, if it is their work, maybe it just needs like a little refresh or something. All right, um, so here we have an MR, 100,000 miles, $24,000. This dealership 
seems to have Evos fairly often. It's got the original wheels. Does appear to be lowered. This might be an SE. Or not an SE, because it's an MR. It might have the appearance package. I think it does. And that's what people commonly think is an Evo MR SE. Tell it's got a boost gauge. Got the right tail light. It's got some weird badge on the trunk that's easy to remove. I don't think it's an SE. It's got a couple little mods, intake, look like a blow off valve, and some intercooler piping. Oh, unfortunately, that's the logo of the dealer. That needs to be removed before I would ever sign up and purchase a car. Uh, it looks really clean. Um, this dealership usually has some pretty clean cars, or at least they look clean. Um, you know, doesn't look to be too many mods, suspension, intake, intercooler piping. I definitely want to get, you know, your typical compression test, have somebody look at it, that sort of stuff. I don't know what part of the country they're in. It's got some slotted rotors. The Brembos are in really good shape, or they've been redone most likely. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for an MR Evo 9, I think this is probably worthwhile. Wow, it's got the uh, the gauge kit still. It's got all the Evo 9 stuff that tends to disappear when people want to sell them, so that's good. Where's this located? North Carolina. Ooh, I don't know any shops around that area. Um... Yeah, I mean, if I'm looking for an Evo 9 MR, I'm definitely going to look more into this one for sure. All right, here's a 9. Obviously, these are all 9s. 27.9, 9, 70,000 miles. That's an awfully big premium. Uh, let's see, the side marker has been changed. It looks like it's been tinted. Different wheels, possibly some sort of front mounts, missing the little holes over the air intakes. It's black, so you know the paint shows all the little defects, but not too bad. It's got a flex fuel, a flex fuel badge, meaning they were probably running E85. It's got a UK badge. The flex fuel is that concerns me. Uh, it's got the SE seats. This might be a special edition. It's got aftermarket floor mats. It's got a check engine light. That's great. Why would you why would you even take these photos? Uh, it says it's a special edition, but I mean there was already some red flags with the car in general. And then you have a dealership that's listing it for sale. I think it's a dealership. Yeah, I just... So the entire motor's been rebuilt. Does it have... Okay, well, it was done by Busher, so that's good. But it doesn't say who installed it necessarily. Well, it's in Louisville, so they may have gone to Busher. Nah, Bushwhacker transmission. So, I need to know more about the build. I would want to talk to Busher and see if they remember building it, what all was done. I need to see some receipts, but I'm a fan of Busher, so I trust their work. I just don't trust what happened between their work and this car going for sale. That's just what I need to figure out, you know. So um, if you're wanting a built motor car, this could be the option. I don't really ever suggest people doing that, but if that's what you're looking for, 
and you're willing to take that risk, it's not a bad price. I mean, 27000 for a 70,000 mile Evo 9 SE isn't a terrible deal in itself. So, yeah, I mean, to get the built motor and all that good stuff, I mean, that's 15 plus grand worth of work. So, it just depends. If Busher did all the work, I'm much more interested. If Busher just built the motor and then shipped it to them and then they installed it, then I become less interested. All right. Uh, 43,000 miles, $30,000 aftermarket wheels. I think that SE had different wheels too. That kind of annoys me. I need to know more about those wheels. Um, this has been lowered. It's got an exhaust. So many black cars for sale. Not sure what. Uh, I think they say Rays. So, I mean, if there really are raised wheels, then they're not cheap. So, this appears to also be a special edition. It's got, or at least it's got the special edition seats. Um, it doesn't say. Also, it doesn't mention anything about those wheels. How are you going to have raise wheels and not mention it I don't know um, I mean it's a good low mileage car it looks pretty clean if they're actually raised wheels if you're in the California area I, I'd probably take a closer look if you're willing to spend that kind of money for a low mileage 9 but I'd want to know more about the details want to know if it is actually an SE um, says has a JDM bumper also has a EDM rear fog. So I don't know. Um, if you're willing to spend that kind of money, I would investigate it further, but it's not like a, oh my gosh, I should buy this right away necessarily. All right, this is the last one. I can already tell you you should not buy this because it's $50,000 for an MR. I don't care how many miles it has. And it's modded. Wow. All the mods. No word on who did the mods, though. Heavily modded with 50,000 worth of upgrades. How? That's not even... My cousin's shop? No. 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 Maybe for 25,000, not 50. All right, so that's all the Evo 9s. So that completes part two. Again, if you guys are finding these videos helpful, I'll do another one in February. If this is stupid, um, I think it'll be pretty obvious. But, you know, let me know that too. Otherwise, um, appreciate you guys watching as always. And Rally, Enzo, and Lotus have not moved. So we will uh, see you guys on the next video. Say bye.